my name is Lauren Windus. I'm co-founder of Ardere and I'm also a clinical nutritionist and naturopath. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make our pan fried trout dish with shredded squash, shredded beetroot, fennel, and also a mustard dressing. So for this recipe, you need half a butternut squash, two pears, one fennel bulb, four cooked beetroots, two tablespoons of coconut oil, a large handful of toasted and flaked almonds, four trout fillets, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard or regular mustard, and five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So one of the reasons that I really love this dish is because it's such a winner for the summer months. It's super refreshing, it's full of good nutritional value. It's got your protein, it's got healthy fats, and it's got so much variety in terms of the vegetables and also full of fiber and just packed with flavor. So first of all, just to start making it, what we're gonna do is just preheat our oven to 180 degrees. Okay, so now we're gonna start prepping the vegetables. So we're about to prepare the butternut squash and all we need to do is chop that in half. And sometimes they can a little bit tough so you wanna take a good knife for this. And just cut that down the middle. And what's great about squash is it's obviously full of color and the orange color comes from carotenoids which actually form in the body into vitamin A. Um, so what's also great about the dish is that it's full of healthy fats. So with the trout that we're getting in there, and the almonds and the olive oil, this is all gonna support the absorption of these carotenoids that are coming from this lovely squash here. So I'm just gonna peel off the skin, cut it off. Can be a bit fiddly, but hey ho, we will get there. And now we're gonna chop the squash in half so it's easier for us to start to grate. And we're just gonna make our way through that. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna add all of that delicious squash into our casserole dish. Almost looks like a load of cheese, which I've grated. Um, and we're just gonna pop this into the oven for 15 minutes with one tablespoon of coconut oil, give that a, whip, a mix in. And I'm gonna try and get that going a little bit golden brown, just so it cooks through slightly. Okay. So I'm just adding the coconut oil. Move all this. I'm just gonna mix the oil through. Next up, we're gonna grate the rest of the fruits and vegetables. Just gonna get started on the pear. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the fennel, which has amazing benefits for our digestive health. It acts as a prebiotic, which feeds the beneficial microbes within our gastrointestinal tract. So just gonna start grating this. onto the beetroot, the messy stuff. And now we're gonna keep all of these aside for later and take out the butternut squash from the oven. Now we're gonna make the trout fillets and we're gonna start by adding a tablespoon of coconut oil into quite a large frying pan and just getting that hot on a high heat. So just leave that for a couple of seconds. And then now we're gonna add in the trout. So we're just gonna place that skin up, each fillet. And we're just gonna let that cook for about five minutes and then we're gonna flip it over and try and do another five minutes. And we're just gonna see how it cooks through. And then meanwhile, whilst that's cooking, we're gonna go and do the mustard dressing. So with this, all you need is five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then we're going to go in with two teaspoons of mustard and 
then just mix those around and we're going to use those later when we're adding all the vegetables in with the trout. And then you can always season this just to whatever you, you fancy, salt and pepper, always adds plenty of flavour. ensuring that they don't lose their form. This is so super crispy, as you can see. I'm going to try and get those all flipped at the same time. Don't do that. And then just leave that for another five minutes or so, just judging based on your own fillet and the size of it just ensuring that it cooks all the way through. So now that the trout is cooked, we're going to take that over to the counter for serving with the dressing. And we're going to serve up. So we're going to get serving, and there's no particular order in the way you serve everything. Um, if you like, you can mix all of the vegetables and the pears together. Um, I've just done it separately, so it's kind of like colours of the rainbow. So what we're going to do is just, I'm just starting with the squash, and I'm just going to try and layer these on the plates. Um, just ensuring that each person has an adequate portion. So beetroots are so beneficial for us. They're great for our heart health, and they're also they also pack a huge amount of fibre in there and we know that fibre is so beneficial for our digestive system. Also just kind of regulating our hunger and keeping us fuller for longer. And so we always want to make sure we get more fibre into our diet as much as possible. And the actual recommendations are about 30 grams a day in the UK, but we're not really achieving that whatsoever. I mean, most people are about 18 grams, so we can definitely be getting more in wherever possible. Adding in the fennel. So I'm just layering these up. As I said, you can mix them around if you want to. And fennel, as I said, really great also for our gut health. Feeding those beneficial microbes within our gut. And then let's add in the pears. So these are high in vitamin C and have a lot of antioxidants in them which can protect our cellular health and just keep it away from free radical damage. We're going to add in our trout fillets. So, spoon. Just carefully lay those over the top so the presentation stays nice and neat. drizzle on our nice olive oil and mustard dressing so just kind of smudge her as little as you like and just whizzing that on and around sprinkling of toasted flaked almonds great source of monounsaturated fats Look how great this looks. It's so refreshing, perfect for the hot months. And then if you want any extra seasoning, you can just sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, just to add a final touch of flavor to this healthy and balanced nutritional dish. So there we go.